Okay, so guys, before adding the enemy teammates, let's add the second type of enemy. So for that, in the rebels, let's now add some other enemy. For example, this one. Okay, so just drag and drop him right there. Okay, actually, let's move him there. And what we can do, we can say impact completely. Drag and drop him right there. Let's rename this as enemy2. Okay. Click on enemy1. Then copy component. Okay, copy the whole script. Click on this one and then paste component as new. Move up. That's it. Now we need to add the nav mesh agent and the capsule collider turn on gizmos okay there it is let's move the capsule collider up make the height 2 and then let's resize the capsule collider like that okay and after this we have the capsule collider we have mesh agent now let's drag and drop the nav mesh agent right there for enemy 2 the look point will be the same then we need to just add a similar shooting area recast as the first enemy so on the second enemy create a new game object move that object right here and then name this as shooting area recast click on enemy 2 again and then drag and drop that shooting area recast right there after that it needs a spawn point so in the spawn point we will give this four spawn point to this enemy so just drag and drop right there after this its animator will be different enemy 2 animator okay now let's go ahead inside animation enemy 2 let's create a animator controller by the name of enemy 2 or actually what we can do to save our time is just click on enemy 1 duplicate the enemy 1 animator and then drag and drop this inside enemy 2 and rename this to enemy 2 and then click on enemy 2 drag and drop this animator and then double click on it and we need to just change the animation in, inside there okay so for walking we will drag and drop this one then for rifle we will say rifle firing firing rifle actually and then for the die we will drag and drop that one and then we need to make them as loop time so the walking will be loop time and also this will be let me try and drop enemy 2 in there okay make this loop time as a uh, loop pause as well then click on rifle fire rifle make this loop time then crouch death this will be same okay so we have changed the animation inside there we have attached the animator there okay now let's just simply play the game okay and now you will notice these two enemy walking towards us as you can see there is the first enemy and here is the second one but we need to make the speed of this enemy 2s2 because he will be running so just make it a little bit larger not larger faster actually now here is the enemy 1 and there is the enemy 2 as you can see he is running towards us now if we try to kill him Okay, there he is dead and now he will be respawned you will notice it as you can see he is being respawned 
from the spawn point which we have attached as you can see now they are shooting me and I am dead now so this means that now our enemy 2 is working perfectly fine and guys let's just duplicate the enemies let's clone the enemies okay let's add all of the enemies so now we have two enemies okay which is spawn, spawn point 1 and spawn point 4 right there now we need to add the other enemies and before adding the other enemies first of all we need to add a rifle to this enemy so just first of all what we can do is to create a empty game object on this first enemy like this create empty parent and let's name this as enemy one okay and name this one as body then just click on this copy component click on enemy one which is the main game object now and click on paste component as new that's it now click on the body again let's copy the animator copy component click right here then paste component as new drag and drop that in there now after that let's copy this nav mesh agent from there and paste component as new and then drag and drop the nav mesh agent after that click on body we now need to add the capsule collider so copy component and right here paste component as new that's it now click on body and remove all of them that's it okay so now inside the enemy one okay we have the body which is the enemy body okay Let's play the game and see how does it looks. Okay, there is the enemy. Okay, it is working perfectly fine. Now let's do the same with our enemy too. So actually what we can do is to just simply now delete this enemy 2 okay and then just duplicate enemy 1 and then what we can do is to move this enemy 1 right there and name this as enemy 2 again and now to this enemy what we will do we will first of all attach the spawn point 4 that's it click on enemy 2 now he has the animator and nav mesh agent everything attached change this animator to enemy 2 and now we are done with this enemy as well but we need to change the body of this okay so click on rebels we want this body for this enemy too so just drag and drop the body in there okay and then delete that body but before deleting it let's just actually click on unpack completely and name this as body guys follow me step by step okay or else you will mess things up now we have two bodies in there so now delete the first one okay now here is the second body as you can see and now in this body let's add a rifle so root spine chest right shoulder right arm right forearm and we have right hand then weapon holder so what we can do is to go inside weapon pack and let's drag and drop this rifle rifle right there as you can see now move this rifle like this actually let's just leave it like this okay and see how does it looks let's run towards the enemy 
from this side now. Maybe somewhere right there. Okay. The rifle is a little bit above, so we need to change it. So just move it. Actually, first of all, click on prefab, unpack completely. That's it. Now let's change the values to 0 0.013, then 0 0.094, and then 0 0.13. Okay, and right there. Make the rotation minus 8.911. Make the rotation y minus 3.378 and make the z rotation as minus 2.437 and guys your values can be different so just make sure that your rifle matches your hand as well okay your enemy player hand okay so you can do that by your own but now my enemy looks perfect like this I think let's move this up a little bit down below that's it let's play the game and see it in the scene view okay there he is okay it looks good like this so now we have the rifle attached to this enemy as well now now we can duplicate the other ones so this video is going to be a lot more larger so you can skip this video because now you know how we can duplicate different enemies okay but if you want to follow me then let's just end this video right here and in the next video i will tell you how to duplicate more enemies so let's end this video right here